just thought I'd do a few updates and let you guys know what I'm up to. Now I bought this plasma cutter ooh, a month or so back now. <clears throat> I've not really had a chance to use it. I plugged it in, connected the air up um, and it worked. So today it's the first chance I've really had any time to like try a bit of cutting with it. So uh, it's a stall work. Thank you. Yeah, yes, the, the stall work. Cut 55, and it's meant to cut up to 14 mil. But I won't be cutting 14 mil with it. I just think it'll be really useful. This thing for <clears throat> you know cutting up leaf springs and just cutting up steel for forging and for making rocket stoves and all kinds of little projects I'm doing. Uh, so I'm going to try it now. So. Uh, We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure of the settings on it. I've been trying to read up a bit about it. There's not much information on this, but I guess it's like a, any other bloody plasma cutter, really. So uh, it's just sort of play it by ear and see how it goes. I'll set it up and try to practice a bit of cutting with it. So this is some scrap steel I had. Plasma switched on and it's set at 38, whatever that means. And this stuff's probably for 5 mil. Nice clean cut. Don't grumble at that. Wow. <laughs> now that is 10 mil. Half inch. Sorry, half inch. It's at 12, 13 mil. So I'm presuming I'm gonna have to sort of turn the power up a bit here. So that's on 55, whatever that is. Let's have a go at this. Hmm. It switched itself off. <laughs> I don't think it liked that. It did cut it. cut it pretty clean it's very impressive that actually but I'd like to know why the plasma's turned itself off so I'm maybe thinking it's blown a fuse right we'll have a look at that back in a sec Yep, it had blown a fuse, so it's blown a 13 amp fuse, I don't know why. Uh, so I'll put another fuse in, I've turned the amps down a bit to 49, I, I thought it'd make any difference, so uh, try it again. With that. I am so impressed. That is such a nice cut, isn't it? Flipping out that would have taken me ages to do with a grinder. It really would. Absolutely bloody ages.
absolutely brilliant. I love it. I love it. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> wow, very impressed. God, it is freezing out of here today. This is scrap, as I say, this is scrap, and someone's obviously cut this with a plasma now, I realise, because of all the blow in there on the back. Yeah, it must be plasma because you couldn't you couldn't cut that with oxyacetylene, could you? No. <coughs> right, I've got to cut up some my W2 came from the States. It's absolutely made up some nice four foot long bars of W2. So my first little project is I'm going to forge a little knife with a three inch blade. Um, this is 7.5 mil I think, thick. So I'm going to cut it off there <clears throat> and I think with forging that down thinner I'll forge it down to maybe three mil. So I'm thinking all that excess and the thickness will forge down to make a nice tang on for the handle. So you know, I'll kind of squish it and lengthen it. So I've marked that off at, I think it's three and a half inches. And I'm just going to see, it's like a bit of an experiment really, to see how far or how how long I can forge that blade out of a piece of three and a half inch uh, steel. So this is me W2. I'll just weld a handle on that now. Love the plasma cutter. Awesome. <clears throat> We've just come inside. It's bloody freezing out there. It's about four, three degrees. Three degrees centigrade. Not a nice day. Right, the other thing that plasma cutter is really going to come in for is cutting this steel plate which is uh, it's a 10, 10 mil plate and what I'm building is a new grinder for my knife making like that so these this marked out area here is for it's actually for the body of the grinder there um, that's the cut out for the motor so the motor sits in there we've got a tracking arm on there and we've got the tool arms coming out the front so I need to cut two of them to sandwich uh, to sandwich the tool arms together and to mount the motor on so that's a project a project I'm on with at the moment to build that um, trouble is I haven't really got any measurements for this so I'm kind of playing it by ear that was the template for the for the body, that's the, the sort of plate and it goes on the front somewhere about there there'll be two big 40mm solid tool arms coming out, one for the rest and one for the plate and, um, I've got my motor, two horse, I think it's a two horse three phase no it's a 1.5 horse three phase which is sitting over here that's there, that beast and I've got uh, a little VF real frequency drive, which is here. So I've got that thing to connect it up to. 
and <coughs> I'll be quite honest with you I have absolutely no bloody idea how to get that working with that I'm going to have to call on someone's help to do that I, the last one I, I just couldn't do it I managed to wire it up okay I did all that but the settings on it they're just beyond me and the, the, the manual you get with the VFD is absolutely bloody useless so uh, yeah that's me I really want to get that built because I want to do sort of more knife work and you've probably seen my little grinder over there it's only a little mini grinder it does the job don't get me wrong it does the job but the belts are so short that they wear really quickly and the plating does get warm when you're really hogging trying to hog metal out I'll keep the little grinder I'll use it for something probably keep it um, <clears throat> but when I get the new grinder going hopefully it'll be a lot better at hogging out metal uh, we'll see I've been <clears throat> I've been building another knife that's this one it's almost finished and it's a big 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 kind of bushcraft type hunter knife I don't know how you describe it it's, it's really thick it's six milli thick uh, it's got steel bolsters on the front I don't know why I just wanted to put steel bolsters on it it's got some lovely little mosaic pins in there Can you see them the handle is made of um, laburnum so it's really hard stuff that's just uh, laburnum it has been stabilized as well I stabilized it myself so there's no moisture going to grain it get into that it's not going to crack it's got a little that's the <laughs> that's a tin rattling around with the heat building up in here and it's got a little i don't know you call it a skull crusher i don't know on the back but i'm going to sell this knife so if you didn't want that that could be ground off um it's got a bit of jimp in there for for grip <clears throat> And it's got a kind of short scandy ground bevel on it. There's no edge on it yet. And I'm just going to finish it in a 600 grit sanded finish. But it's a bonny looking knife. And there's a load of weight to it. The balance is really, balance is really nice on it. Because it's kind of perfectly balanced there in the centre. You see. So it feels really nice. The piece of W2 I've just cut, that's for a <coughs> little knife yay big, which I might actually make into a little folding knife yet, I don't know. But I want to get this W2 forged and I want to make, make a, try and make a beautiful hamon in the steel. That's, as I say, that's why I bought the W2, <coughs> the W2 bar is there. Some really nice pieces of W2. I got, uh, I ended up getting one, two, three, six. I ended up getting six lengths, seven mil thick. So there's a few katanas there, and there's a lot of knives there as well. We still, we still stock, starting to build up a little bit now. There's the solid 40 mil. For the plating on the new grinder and for the tool rests. Heavy stuff. <coughs> and there's a piece of 12 mil there for the tracking arm on the grinder. I've also been making some micarta. The handles <coughs> made up this little, just this little clamping jig. That was the first one I made, sorry. That's the <coughs> That was the second one I made. And I've just really been using bits of cloth and material I had. This I don't know what this was, it was some just some black material I bought. I've just been cutting it into strips. Um, <coughs> putting some greaseproof paper on. Epoxy, not epoxy, fiberglass resin and clamping them down. <coughs> These are the these are the little slabs of micarta that have come out. 
about 10 12 mil thick just ideal for knife scales there's a couple there they i was going to put them on that big bun uh, bushcraft hunter type knife but i decided to go with the laburnum in the end so they'll they'll come in for something else and you just see the you just see the layers there in the micara i think that was I remember it was green, black and green it was, yeah, black and green. Be nice for something. That's the temperature in my workshop, the top temperature. 20, 23.6 centigrade, like I say it's 3 or 4 degrees outside, it's bloody freezing. The bottom temperature, 27 degrees, is uh, the temperature that's coming out from behind my bench where the, where the rocket flue is. Um, <clears throat> that's the there's the old rocket stove there's not much in it but oh, I'm so glad I made this I really am because this workshop's warmer than my house right guys I don't really know much more to say to you I've not really been on with anything in, in this workshop for the last month because I've been so busy that my daughters my daughters just moved house her and her husband so I've been kind of stuck there for a month, knocking hell out of that place, knocking walls down, stripped the kitchen and the bathroom back to brickwork and put it all back again, got the kitchen to fit, got the bathroom to fit, been doing lowered ceilings, putting walls up, putting doors in, door frames, the list has gone on and on and on, but I'm sort of getting towards the end of that now, the next couple of weeks. I'm going to try and get them moved in there because they're having to rent a place at the moment because they've nowhere to live. So it's kind of been my priority to get the house finished so they can actually move in. So as soon as I get on with anything else, guys, I will uh, I will update you as soon as I start these projects. I'll probably film film me grinder build for anyone else who wants to build one of these things. I've never built one before. I can't see it being that difficult. The worst thing, the only thing I'm dreading is setting up that bloody VF variable frequency drive. And as I've got my plasma cutter, I can cut this out. It was going to be really hard work with a four inch grinder and the slitting disc cutting all that steel. It was probably, probably two or three hours, four hours work there maybe to cut that with the slitting disc. And phew, what? say 10 discs to cut that easily well the plasma is going to eat through it so I'm, I'm quite pleased that I brought that I'm also going to be knocking up a couple of rocket stoves little rocket stoves with the plasma now it's going to make building cutting and building so much easier and I'm going to cut up all my leaf springs and start forging some knives out of them all right fellas I, uh, I will see you soon all right take care